In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build an AI phone agent that can receive calls and answer questions for you using a knowledge base, essentially a virtual receptionist that can take and manage calls on your behalf. Now for this, we're going to be using Lindy. I've used a lot of different AI voice agent tools. and Lindy is my favorite for these kind of use cases. It's really simple and intuitive to use. And we can build some pretty powerful stuff without needing to get bogged down in code or big complex workflows. So the first thing worth mentioning is that you're going to need to be on the pro plan for Lindy. Unfortunately, Lindy doesn't enable voice agents on its free plan. So we're going to need to get the pro plan. So with that, we're going to jump into Lindy and I'll show you how we can get this built. So Lindy have recently released Lindy 3, which allows us to have an agent build our agent workflow. Um, so kind of like vibe coding, but for agents. So you can just type in here, build me a, a customer support agent that searches a knowledge uh, that when it receives a call, it searches a knowledge base to answer the customer query. And we can just hit go and let that agent build out our workflow. It's not gonna be perfect. There's gonna be things that we need to connect and probably tweak, but rather than us need to completely start from scratch, it's gonna give us a decent first go. So we'll just let that build and we'll have a look at that in a second. So for this customer support agent, we need a theme, we need an example. So I'm gonna pretend that this is a customer support agent for a small batch craft sausage company. I have bought these sausages, they are delicious, they are on my mind, and so we're gonna go with that, why not? So it should now go ahead and start building out our agent. Here we go. Okay, so it's gone ahead and built our agent. We can click here and see what it's put together. Here we go. Okay, so this looks pretty good to me. I think probably we need to have a step here where it actually searches the knowledge base before. Um, yeah, so there's a few things that I think are probably not quite right. I'm just gonna go and make a few quick changes. So we're gonna search a knowledge base. We'll add a website, pop in the website that we want it to reference. I'm also, actually that should be fine. So a few little tips when setting this up. I'm gonna go in and give this support agent a bit of context and the context that I'm gonna give it. <clears throat> so I've said your customer support agent for a sausage company called Sausage Pronounced Sausage. Please help our customers solve any queries. Now I've given it a few instructions here on phone call mechanics. This is really important, otherwise you're gonna end up with this. Which sausage would you recommend I get next? Tool code print default API, knowledge base, search knowledge base, query X, customer reviews of different sausage flavors. Another thing, you can see that the model here is preset to Claude for Sonnet. I would recommend changing this either to Gemini Flash or GPT-4 Turbo, they're far faster and they, they have less latency. If you don't do this, you're gonna end up with something like this. Which sausage would you recommend next? So let's go with Gemini Flash and we're gonna go back to our agent and we'll give that a quick test. Hi Frank, you're from Sausage. How can I help you today? Hi Frank, I'm looking to buy some sausages. Um, I enjoyed your cheddar jalapeno sausages, but I didn't like the coconut and lime ones. What sausage would you recommend that I get next? Okay, I'm glad to hear you enjoyed some of our sausages. Since you like the cheddar jalapeno, but not the coconut lime, I might recommend our Mexican chorizo sausage or the smoked cheddar and chipotle sausages. Would you like to know more about either of those? I would love to know more about the cheddar, was it cheddar and chorizo? It's the smoked cheddar and chipotle sausage. Chipotle. smoky flavor with a bit of a kick from the chipotle combined with the creamy cheddar. That sounds really good. How big is it? I don't have the exact dimensions on hand, but I can tell you they are made for low and slow cooking and are ideal for sharing. I can reach out to the team directly to get the exact size if you'd like. I'd love to know the, the exact size. Um, also, is, is there a refund policy on them? If I didn't like them, could I return them? Okay, I can find out the exact size for you. 
Yes, we do have a refund policy. If you're dissatisfied with your product, please contact us immediately at infosocej.uk. Because our products are perishable, we don't allow for returns. But please get in touch if you have questions or concerns about your specific item and contact us for refunds. So not bad, obviously there's a ton of ways you can improve this, you can add more to the knowledge base, you can integrate it with other tools that you use, you can change the voice, tons of things, but in principle, this is how you can build an AI customer support agent in Lindy. Now if you wanna know more about Lindy, I'll drop a link below. Also, I created this video where I did a bit more of an in-depth review of the platform and some of the other features in Lindy. Hope that's been useful, see you in the next video.